Hi, this is Kate from Delicious Designs. Today we're going to be making my little Christmas hat. Okay, so this is the one we're going to do. We're only going to need two colours. We're going to use white and red. We're going to use a single loom. It's going to be in the offset configuration, which means that columns one and three are slightly lower than column two. We're going to be double banding, um, which means you take two, pe two bands and you place them on the pegs together at the same time as if they were one. That gives it a more robust and solid feel to it. We're going to have the open part of the peg or the arrow facing towards us. Let's get started. We're going to take our first two bands and stretch them from the middle center peg down to the second peg on the right and then do the same for the left. And then we're going to come down with three pair on either side. Like that, and then down the center. that. Now what we're going to do next is take some white bands to do the ruffle around the, the edge, this little bit here. We're going to take a single band, wrap it around our hook once and twice and then we're going to slide that onto pairs of white and we're going to do this 14 times. So this is our first pair. We're going to do this, as I said, 14 times. Two, Slide it on, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I can see that one's breaking. Can you see how that's fraying? Let's get rid of that one. That will cause us problems. 13. Now for number 14 we're going to go through like that. Then without reclaiming the end here you're going to flip this forward and go through the little end cap which is the three loops at the bottom and then you're going to reclaim your fourth band like that. Make sure that it's not twisted that you've got it all the right way. Take two bands and we're going to slide these through. So there's one, two, and three, and reclaim like that. Now, we're going to do things a little bit fancy. Let's move these bands out of the way so I have some room. We're going to leave this red band here. We're going to take these two off, just the bottom part. Leave the top part there. We're going to put these two loops on here, on this peg here. So one and two, like that. Now we're going to stretch this little white band to go over these pegs. All right, just stretch it over like that. We're then going to replace these red bands like this. Okay, and we're going to place the rest of the red bands that we need to do push everything down. So two red bands from the centre to the right and from the centre to the left. We're also going to need an end cap, okay? So, but first let's, let's loop up. If you have a look, okay, we're going to, you've got 
loops either side here. So this is the middle one and this is the middle one. We're going to go one, two, three, and you're just going to take the top loop, there's two of them, you're going to take one and pop it over like that. And the same here, just catch it, just one little loop on there. Then let's move this up and over so that it's sitting in front of that peg now. And you're going to again take one little loop and put it above like that. All right, now we're going to do our end cap. Wrap it once and twice and we are putting it here like that. We're going to do some crossover bands. We're just going to take a single band, stretch it across, stretch it across. And for this one here, we're going to just take a single and loop it on itself into figure eight and place that here. Okay, so we're going to dig down past this end cap, grab the two red bands that are on top. Okay, and flip those down to here. Do the same for the other side. Just the two red bands. I can feel that I had white bands there. So move those down here like that. These red ones at the very bottom can loop up as can these ones now. Okay. If you need a bit of help finding them. There we go. So we're going to loop these up. And the middle. Take five white bands, put them on your hook, twist once and reclaim. Then take two red bands and slide those on and reclaim. You're going to place those here on the top of your hat. We're then going to loop in these sides. There's our first one. Oops. only one band let's get both bands push that crossover band back with the back of your hook two here's our third one get two red bands slide your hook down the center and out the side having captured all of those bands on your hook pull these two red bands back up through the center of the peg to the back side of it reclaim and when you tie off, you're sort of stretching this over to go over the um, the white bubble and pull tight. Now we can secure that a bit better when we take it off the loom. I use a hook to help me. into shape a little bit now for the tie off bands all you're going to do is wrap them around the base of the white bubble until they're tight enough that they're not going to go anywhere and there you have A little Christmas hat with the rim around it. They stand up quite nicely. I hope you enjoy making. Take care. Bye bye.